one of the best things about doing athletics is that it's both team-based and individual at the same time. It's your personal best that, that really matters and everybody celebrates when you, when you have your personal best, no matter whether that's the blues time or the cup is standard. It's your personal best and you've put in the training. Your performance counts towards the overall team's performance, especially, especially at competitions like Bucks and especially at competitions like Varsity. So competing in Bucks is different from other competitions because you're going head to head with people from universities all across the UK. I have two aims for this season. The first one is to break the indoor varsity match record which is currently 7.73 seconds. My second aim is to actually compete in Bucks. I've never competed in Bucks before so I aim to compete both in Bucks indoors and outdoor championships this year. So I think the biggest challenge for women getting to sport is the fear of not being good enough. Historically, we've been less inclined to, to take risks uh, and to be, to be willing to fall down in front of everyone for fear of being judged. What needs to change, and it is changing, is the culture around, uh, around just getting on with it and just giving things a go. And I think if we can really try to encourage each other, I think we'll get a lot higher participation uh, of women in sport. There's a great support network for women competing in sport. Not just within your teams, we've also got a university-wide society called the Ospreys, which I'm on the committee for this year. The Ospreys are committed to promoting sports women across the university by providing a community to connect to other women. So I definitely recommend anyone who's never thrown a discus before or done any long jump to try it out because you never know, you might be the next Jessica Ennis Hill.